Hey guys, this is James. We're bringing you another computer do-it-yourself video today. Uh, today we have an HP laptop we're working on, and the issues we're addressing in this video are your computer is not turning on, turning on then freezing, or turning on then turning itself back off. Uh, so as usual with any computer repair, uh, they, there's usually a, a troubleshooting process involved. Uh, the reason is because there's usually multiple causes, multiple possible causes for any one issue with your computer. So we got to figure out which one it is that's causing your computer to behave the way that it is. Uh, generally speaking with troubleshooting, a good rule of thumb is to go and diagnose the cheapest or the easiest fixes first. And if those don't fix your problem, move on to the more expensive or the more complex repairs. So in this case, an HP that's not turning on, freezing, or turning on and turning off, the first things we're going to diagnose for is a static buildup, a bad charger, or a bad battery. Uh, now, if your uh, problem is something other than the specific ones we just stated, um, you may be on the wrong video. If your computer is turning on, but the screen is just staying black, go into the description and look at video number one. That will be a fix for that. And if your computer is turning on, but it's getting to sort of a, a boot loop situation where it just keeps rebooting, uh, go into the description video two. I will help you with that situation. But to start off today, you're going to start by unplugging your charger. Flip your computer over and remove your battery. Um, if, side point, if you don't have an easily removable battery like that, uh, if your battery is internal and you can't access it that easily, go to video 3 in the description and that will give you an idea of how to get at, at that battery to continue with this procedure. So now that the battery's out and the charger's out, hold your power button down for a minute. Many of you that have ever called in to a warranty repair, uh, this is the first step they'll have you do, is just drain all the static from your computer by, by holding the power button down for a minute. You can get a static buildup a variety of ways. Uh, maybe your surge protector's bad, maybe you're not using a surge protector. Uh, your battery could be going bad, your charger could be going bad. Or maybe you're just using your computer around sources of static too frequently. Uh, blankets, pillows, pets. Um, all these things can contribute to a static buildup. So after you've been holding it down for a minute, you can release it. Go ahead and put your battery back in. Plug your charger back in. And go ahead and try to start the machine. If it starts, you know what the issue was, your static buildup, and then you can just avoid those things we mentioned earlier, maybe upgrade your surge protector, uh, things like that. If your computer does not start up, now we're going to move on to diagnose your charger and your battery to see if that's the cause. So unplug your charger again, remove your battery again, and hold your power button down for another minute. After you've held it down for a minute, we're going to put your battery back in. But we're not going to put your charger in. We're going to leave your charger unplugged. Now try to turn on the computer. If your computer turns on, you know that your computer's fine and your battery's fine, but your charger may be going bad. Sometimes a computer will protect itself from a defective charger or battery by just not turning on when it's plugged in. Uh, so if that's the case, you, you know to replace this. If it's still not turning on, then we're going to repeat the process to see if the battery is the problem. So remove your battery again. Hold the power button down for another minute. Once you've been holding it down for a minute, replace, uh, put your charger back in, but don't put your battery in. Try to turn the computer on. If your computer turns on, again, it means your computer's fine and the charger's fine, but it means your battery could be going bad and you should replace it. If after these steps your computer is still not turning on, uh, then it's most likely a different component that, that's causing the problem. And now we need to continue a different avenue for troubleshooting. Uh, the direction we go from here depends on your exact symptoms in your computer. So, if your computer is turning on but freezing, or if your computer is turning on and then turning itself off after the logo screen, you're going to go into the description, video 4. Uh, that will show you how to perform a BIOS reset on your computer. If that doesn't work, look at video 5 in the description. 
Uh, that will show you how to reset your computer and additional instructions will obviously be in those videos. However, if your computer at this point is not turning on at all and giving you no signs of life whatsoever, try the BIOS reset in video four in the, in the description. But if that doesn't work, you're gonna refer to video six. That's gonna show you how to test your charger. Uh, it'll, sh it'll show you how to make sure it's getting the right amount of power from the wall to the charger into this tip. Uh, after video six, if you've confirmed your charger is working properly, then look at video seven. It'll show you how to test your, your, your power jack. Sometimes these things go bad or, or the boards they're on go bad. So even though this is delivering the right amount of power to it, the power jack could be stopping it from getting to your motherboard correctly. So that would be the avenue you would take if your computer's not turning on at all. Uh, please like and share if this video was helpful. Uh, please leave a message if you had any, any questions or got stuck at any point. And uh, please subscribe if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer repair. Thank you for watching.